Rosso a lot and back today with a new video. So as you probably noticed, or maybe you haven't, I've had a little break from vlogging. Um, yeah, just had a little break. I think I needed it to feel a lot better. I want to firstly start by saying thank you so so much for all the lovely comments that I received on my last video and also thank you so so much to everybody who donated to our Just Giving page. Um, I just can't believe the response, it was absolutely amazing and we went way way over our target which we never n even anticipated would happen and that's all thanks to you guys so I just want to give you a really big virtual hug to say thank you so much. I'm not going to be sad in this video and I am feeling much better like I said so I'm going to crack on and I've also got uh, something quite exciting at the end that I'm going to show you. Okay, so first of all, one of the things I made absolutely ages ago was this dress, which is the Sew Over It Penny Dress. I made the penny dress when it first came out. I don't know how long ago that was. Feels like it might be a couple of years ago. And every time I wear it, I think, I love this dress, why haven't I made more? So. This month I actually made two. So I had a party coming up for my um, grandmother's, well it's not my grandmother's, it's my husband's grandmother, but she's my grandmother because I don't have any grandparents, um, for her 80th birthday. And uh, the lovely Liana from La Mazzi Fabrics got in touch with me and asked me if I would like to do a blog post. So I thought it was perfect timing because I was thinking about making a new dress to wear to the party. And upon browsing the website, I mean, you're spoiled for choice on that website anyway, but when I saw this fabric, I think it was the most gorgeous fabric I've ever seen. And I still feel like that now. So I'm going to stand up and show you. So obviously it's a penny dress. I normally wear it with a red belt, but could I find my red belt? No, I think I might have left it in my husband's car. So, um, yes, to show you from the back. If you're not aware of this pattern, it has a full circle skirt, it's also got an elasticated waist and a bodice which does have, that is a real button placket there. Although if you were scared of buttonholes, you could just sew your buttons on because um, you don't need to undo them at any time to get it over your head. It's obviously got a camp collar so it doesn't have a collar stand and it's got these grown on sleeves with just a little turned up turned over hem there's no cuff or anything and I really really love this dress the fabric is an art gallery rayon and I only really know art gallery fabrics for their uh, jersey which I have used in the past but also their quilting cottons I didn't realize they made rayon but if I get a bit closer so you can see it also has and I hope you can see uh, a slight pattern to the print as well which is in the solid area but yes the most beautiful colours pinks aquas yellows it's just beautiful I can't remember what it's called I think it's called something like summer dreams flames or something but I'll put the uh, description here and I'll put the link to the blog post down below so that you can go and check it out if you want to you can um, hear about what adaptations I made to the pattern, how I found it, and also how I found the fabric. So, really love that. And not having made a penny dress for whatever it was, two years, I actually made two, like I said. So, um, a little bit sad, but I also made one, and it's really crinkled because I haven't ironed it, and I am really rubbish at ironing anyway. But I made another penny dress from this really lovely black viscose. It's got a really beautiful... Um, floral print on it. I'd had this penny dress cut out since I made the last one but it had just been sitting in my uh, work in progress basket to be made and um, I thought I would make a dress to wear to my mum's funeral because my mum was always really really supportive of my sewing and she thought I was so clever although my mum did sew she used to sew clothes for us when we were children but she thought I was so clever and she was to, always used to say oh you're such a clever girl so I thought it would be really nice to make something to wear to the funeral but I didn't want something that was too 
doom and gloom. So I thought this was perfect. I sent my sister a message to ask her if she approved and thought it was too happy, but she said it was perfect. So yes, it was a really lovely dress and I felt really lovely in it. And yeah, it just brightened up what was going to be a really dismal day. But yes, and I wore it with the same pink belt because it accented the pinks in the flowers. But this fabric I got ages and ages ago from the lovely Laura of Cotton Mill Studio. I don't think she still has it in stock anymore. And I also had an email recently from her to say that her website is changing. So I don't even know if she's going to continue with fabric supply. But I do know that this fabric is also for sale on um, So 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 UK. The lovely Katie has it in stock at the moment. And I'm going to talk more about her shop uh, in my next make, not this one, the one that I'm going to change into. I also wanted to show you, but I'm not going to put it on because I have showed you this lots of times. I made another Deer and Doe Blue Air shirt dress. And this one, this time, and as I was ironing it, ironing it I have noticed my sleeves coming away there, so I'm going to have to go in and fix that. But this is a really lovely Liberty cotton from you, me and Mabel and if ever I'm looking for a cotton um, she is my go-to um, fabric store because she specialises in quilting cottons and she's got all the lovely brands Riley Blake, Michael Miller and of course Liberty and I just thought this was the perfect um, print for this dress and I think out of all of my bluets I think this one might be my favourite I really love it um, but then don't you always say that about your last make so anyway, I'm going to get changed and I have another one, two, three, four things to show you. So I'll get changed, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the next make is one that I haven't shown you before because I haven't made this pattern before. But it is the True Bias Selby, Selby? Shelby romper and I've made it from the same viscose as I made uh, the penny dress from and this is from Katie of So 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 UK and as you can see it's a really wide legged romper and it's got this lovely um, also at the back I don't know if you can see um, it's got a tie back I'll try and see if I can get a bit closer so you can see it's got a tie back and it's also got this really lovely button placket which comes down to the crotch and yes, lovely sleeves, all princess scenes. If you've made the True Bias, um, what is it called, Yari jumpsuit, it's quite a similar construction to that. Although the uh, bottom of the bottom button placket is not constructed in the same way. But that's always the bit I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to turn out really well. But actually, apologies for the crotch shot, but I think it's turned out fine. I didn't have a problem with it at all. And I made this to wear, I was going out with all my um, girlfriends for a catch up and on the, uh, in the afternoon I thought I quite fancy something new to wear. So I had this already cut out so I thought I'll see if I get it made. I've got a backup but yeah, quite like to wear it. And it was a really quick sew I have to admit. Um, if I was going to make it again I would probably, I made the smallest size whatever size that is because I looked at the size chart and if I just show you it undone so if I undo the back um, it is a really loose romper and obviously I have but I have to have the tie tied really tight to make it cinch me in at the waist um, and also I do feel like here it is slightly big so if I was going to make it again I would probably take half an inch maybe off each side um, just to bring it in a little bit it is also quite short this version it also has a dress, the Shelby dress. Um, so thanks to the lovely um, So Last Minute Lisa, who I messaged before I made it, um, I added two and a half inches to the length on the bottom. And as you can see, if I stand back, it is still quite short. So it's above my knees. Um, but perfect for me. I'm quite happy with it, especially in the summer. And if you've been on holiday like me, so you've got brown knees. So yes, um, I really like it. I, Got plans to make another one, but yes, I would take the side seams in slightly. Everywhere else I think is fine. The princess seams seem to be in the right place. And I'm really happy that I added a bit to the length. But yeah, I really like this. I think it's um, really pretty. And I felt really comfortable when I went out. 
Okay, so I'm going to get changed again and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so another make that I've got to show you is this and it is the newest release from Athena Kaku's Pattern Line, AK Patterns. Um, I was very lucky that Athena sent me the pattern to test and uh, yeah, so I've made a few of these. I've actually made two of the top versions and I've made a dress version. So um, I shortened this because it is actually meant to be tunic length, um, sort of here, and it does have a belt. And um, yes, I've lengthened, I shortened mine just to make it sort of t-shirt length, so it's like a woven t-shirt. Really simple pattern, and I really like wearing this a lot. Um, it also comes with the option for cuffs, which I haven't added to this version, but I have added to the dress, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's got bust darts, which I really like, because I think you find with a lot of woven t-shirts, they don't actually have any darts, they're just boxy, and I prefer that, I think it gives a nice shaping. Obviously, it's got a boat neck, there's a facing in there as well, no fastenings or anything, so really plain on the back, and I've made it from this really lovely viscose linen, which is a kind of aqua colour, it's showing a bit paler on the camera, and it's got these little people with shadows on it, which I really like. And yes, I got this from So By The Sea in Margate, and it's perfect. I think this top works really, really well in a viscose, it would also work in a crepe. Um, I have made one in a cotton, but I have to admit, um, I think it does work better in a viscose, a drapey fabric. Um, also, the dress length is sort of midi length, which isn't really my style, but that didn't mean that I didn't want to make the dress version, so I've made the dress version, but I've actually shortened it. I'll put a little picture in here so that you can see. I shortened it quite a lot because I wanted it for my holiday, so that I could just throw it over my swimming costume or whatever, or just wear it, just normally wear it as hot. And this, I really love this fabric, and so I'm going to give the lovely Laura from Material Girl Laura a really lovely shout out because this fabric is awesome. It is a linen feel viscose and it travelled really, really well. I didn't, although it looks really crumpled now because I'm really rubbish at ironing, um, on holiday it travelled really well. I got it out of my suitcase and it wasn't crumpled. And I wore it and it didn't get crinkled from wearing either, which, you know, viscose generally do tend to do that. But yes, I'm really happy with this and as you can see, um, I've added the cuffs to my version. I think I might have had my iron slightly too hot when I ironed it because it's gone a little bit shiny. But yeah, as you can see, it's got a facing around there um, and the darts. And I've done a really wide hem on mine as well um, because I like that feature. But yeah, um, like I say, hopefully I'll have put a picture in so you can see it. And the other thing which you just got a sneak peek of, um, I made some True Bias Lander Shorts. And I have made these before but I have made the uh, butterfly version before and this time I made the zipper version with the expansion pack. I'm really happy with these. I've lined my pockets with some really lovely, which you can't see at all, banana fabric, which I had left over from a previous make. Um, the denim is a lovely light washed denim from So By The Sea and Margate again. And it's got these lovely pockets on the back and the pockets on the front, which I really like. I had a bit of trouble with mine because I think I've put my zip the wrong way around as well, uh, but I don't care. But yes, I did something really stupid when I constructed the fly. I forgot that the fly, if I just show you, and you can see where my mistake is because I've had to put two poppers in, but I forgot that this bit needed to be facing this way. So I folded it back behind like this and then put my waistband on which was really annoying, and then I had to recut my waistband and put it all back on again, which was really annoying, but, um, no, I didn't recut it actually, I, but I've had to ease it in at the back quite a lot, because, yeah, I'd already sewn this bit and put the proper in, and I didn't want to change it, I hope that makes sense, but probably not. Anyway, I've got one more thing to show you, so I'm going to quickly get changed, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so last make, first of all, I made this as well, so I wanted to show you this quickly as well, um, when I show you the other thing. It is a Deer and Ogive vest, you've obviously seen this from me before, but I wanted to give it a mention because the fabric is, I think it's called the Perfect T-Shirt Jersey, I think that's what it's called, but it's from the lovely Cheryl of Stitchy Bee, and it really is the Perfect T-Shirt Jersey, 
because it's really opaque, it's got a really lovely amount of stretch and it's super white, which I love because I've got a thing about whites that aren't really white. But anyway, moving on to the thing that I actually wanted to show you. And I have made the True Bias um, Emerson cropped pants. And hmm, I might have to alter my cam camera so that you can see. But anyway, I'll show you the front detail, which is the most interesting bit. Um, it's obviously got these two pleats here. It's got a flat fronted waistband on the front. It's got elastic round the back. Goes all the way around here. It's got these really nice deep pockets. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Um, they are quite long. And when I first I made them, sorry, I'm so all over the place today. Um, it is a tensile chambray. I think that's what it is. And it's got these really small, I hope you can see, sort of white dots all over it. And this also was from the lovely Cheryl of Stitchy Bee. What I might do actually is I'll put a picture in here because I think I've got a picture so that you can see the length. When I first made them, first of all, I'm not very happy about this area where the elastic meets the flat front of the waistband. I'm not that happy about the construction there. Um, and when I first made them, I don't know if it was a combination of pattern, length and fabric but I kind of thought they looked a bit like pyjama bottoms um, but I have to admit they are really really comfortable and I have worn them a lot but mostly for lounging around um, I would make them again but I would perhaps use something with slightly more structure like a linen or a cotton linen feel uh, fabric um, but yes not a pattern I've made before. I have had it in my stash for a long, long time. The only other thing that I thought I might do is I might take them up slightly because I, I don't know, cropped length is a bit, I don't know, I just have a bit of a weird issue with what length it has to be. I don't like it if it just looks like your trousers are a bit short. I like it so it looks like it's intentionally cropped. So anyway, okay, I'm just gonna um, quickly pop off and I'll be back and I've got something to talk to you about. Okay, so I don't know how long she's going to let me hold her for, but obviously if you follow my channel for a while you'll know that we had to have our cat put down recently. And we've got a new one. And this, oh she's so cute, is Yoko. And she might feature in some of my upcoming videos. She is another Bengal, because I love Bengals, they have such a great character. And as you can see, she's actually <laughs> a lot calmer than Shasti. Um, she doesn't mind being handled, but yes, she's 12 weeks and she's so cute. No, she's so cute. But yeah, she's a bit sleepy because she was having a rest on the sofa and I've just picked her up. But yeah, I've forgotten how much work is involved in having a kitten. But yeah, so she's a new addition to our family. Okay, thanks for coming back. Um, I am not going to make any commitments with regard to vlogs going forward because I'm just struggling to find the time, to be honest, at the moment. So I can't tell you when my next video will be, but hopefully soon. So thanks for coming back and I'll see you again soon. Bye.